Welcome back to part three of our parent training. We've covered how to sign your child in and what it looks like inside the CSAP classroom. Now let's cover how to complete activities. So if you look over on the right hand side, you'll see three different tabs, journal, activities, and inbox. If you click on activities, you'll see a to-do folder, an in-progress folder, and a done folder. So in the to-do folder, you'll have all the work that is needed to be completed. Um, and you can see on what dates each thing was assigned on. If you take a close look, you can see that there's a title of the assignment. There's also instructions. And in some of the assignments, there's instructions that are recorded as well. This helps our littles out that can't read yet. Um, it, it helps them to be able to understand what's going on. Click the link and watch Mystery Doug explain how hand sanitizer kills. Okay, so that's just an example. When you look through the instructions, you'll see little symbols here. Um, when we go into the activity, you'll see them and I'll show you how to use those. So when they want to do uh, the activity, you click on the green add response. And then inside of your Seesaw response, you'll see a T. I'll show you what that has. So you, you can add text here. Um, there's a microphone so you can record your voice. This is great for um, students who want to give uh, more detail on what they're doing. And it gives the teachers a better understanding of what your, what your child has learned. There's also the camera. And in the camera, you can do a video. So your, your child could record a video of themselves or whatever that they're doing um, for their assignment. They can take a photo or they can also upload a photo if they found something online or they took a picture you know, outside of Seesaw, they can upload it here. The three dots gives you some extra options so they can add shapes here. There's different shapes that they can use. Um, click on the shape. You can also change the shape with the rainbow. So you can change it to different colors. You can make it larger or smaller. You can move it around. Um, we have backgrounds, so you can change the background. Um, you can add a link. I don't think you'll probably ever have to do that as a student. And you can also record, add your voice to different parts of your assignment. Now, if you take a look at the bottom here, there's the pointer tool. There's also a pen and a pencil, a marker or a highlighter, a magic marker, and the eraser. So if you click on one of these, you can choose your, your color over here. And this is especially great if you're on a tablet or an iPad because the child can um, use their finger as the pen and write what they need to write. Um, when they're done their assignment, so up here, if they're not finished, but they have to put the iPad away or their tablet or whatever they're using away, they can click on draft and then they can come back and work on it again later. If they've completed the assignment, they click on the green check mark, and then it's sent to their teacher. And the teacher can add a comment or a response to let them know what they thought of the assignment. Um, if you have any further questions um, or you need extra help, speak to your teacher, and I can create more recordings to assist you in understanding Seesaw.